Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome into our service tonight. You're in for a real treat. We have a wonderful group that's here with us tonight and we know that you're going to enjoy them and just have church with us tonight. So we have, uh, uh, we have a few scripture here we want to read and we welcome all of you. So this is church time for a lot of you and so just join in and pray and Enjoy the service. All right, our scripture tonight is Psalm, a, a few verses out of Psalms 103. I guess it's one of my favorite psalms. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. What's some of his benefits? Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, and who healeth all thy diseases who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. That's only six out of 22 verses in Psalms 103. But I love this. It says, he forgives all of our sins and heals all of our diseases. Sometimes our healing's here, sometimes it's on the other side. But in his wisdom, he knows how and when and how to uh, take care of us and how we thank the Lord for that. So bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Psalms 103. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, how we praise you because we're talking about one that we know that loves us and cares for us and, and can forgive all of our sins and can heal all of our diseases and, and can make uh, have strength, renews our, our strength uh, like a young person's. And so, Lord, we thank you for who you are to us. We thank you for the fact that we can share this good news every night. So, Lord, we thank you for this group that's here, we ask for an anointing to be on them, give them strength, help them to overcome uh, the, their, uh, their challenges. We all have different challenges. So Lord, bless them, bless our phone operators, our staff. Lord, we're here on business for you. Help us to succeed in that, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, we have... Uh, the group, if they'll come on now, we have uh, uh, we have a special special group tonight. Kendra Cole and New Harvest from London. We've been uh, missing getting to see them, but they've been busy people. And uh, their phone number to get in touch with them is six zero six three zero nine eight zero seven nine, and that uh, you'll be able to get in touch with them and the. So they're, uh, they're all ready to uh, uh, sing for us, and so you enjoy it. And we have phone operators ready to take your calls. And so uh, right now, let's welcome Kendra Cole and New Harvest from London. <laughs>
Sister Margaret, but this is such a wonderful way to reach people. Amen. And there's so many people, all the singers that come can tell you that by the end of the end of the night, um, we just we got David on board here and he sung for uh, Shepherd's Way. But by the end of the night, all the groups, Margaret, it's like that, ain't it? That thick with prayer requests that people need God to move in and salvations. And this is just such a wonderful way reaches so many people's homes and, and especially shut-ins, and we're just thankful to be a part of such a great ministry. Amen. God is still good. Amen. <laughs> Oh, 
Jesus is still alive, ain't it, Sister Margaret? His blood is still saving people today. His blood is still healing people. I always like to get here early because me and Sister Margaret, we have a prayer meeting and we do all of our ladies talking, but most of our talking is about the Lord, ain't it, Sister? And I love her. She's a good personal friend of mine. And um, I just praise the Lord that he, he's alive, that he's real. Um, there's a, and you can look this up, but there's an interesting story about this next song. It's an original song of ours. And um, the way that it came about was there was an archaeologist by the name of Ron White that studied. Uh, he scraped some of the blood off of the prayer shawl that they believed covered Jesus' face. And he took it to a lab in Israel, and he had them test it. Well, they ended up calling him, and they said, uh, Ron White, you're going to have to get down here. And you can look this up on the internet. Um, his name's Ron White, R-O-N-W-Y-A-T-T. And they, he had, they said, you got to get down here. And they said, this blood, there's, we don't understand. It, it's human blood. We know that. But what we're confused about is, you know, the human body, everybody's got 46 chromosomes. You get 23 from mommy, you get 23 from daddy. It had 23 from mommy and it only had one from daddy. And that wasn't the best part about it. He, they said this blood, when we put it under the microscope to visualize it, it was still alive. Yeah. The particles were still moving. And if you know anything about blood, when it leaves the body, it's dead. It's dead blood. But that blood was still alive because our Savior is still alive. And yeah. tonight, if you don't know the Lord, and you just have, and we're thankful for all of you that tune in every night, and we're, we're so appreciative for those of you that support this ministry. But for those of you that might just be randomly seeing it tonight, or maybe you've grown cold or losing your faith, the blood of Jesus is alive. Amen. That's that that's not just spiritual and what you could feel. You know, we believe even though we can't see, and the Lord blesses us for that. But that's scientifically proven that He is alive. Amen. Amen.
cross. Sister Pam, you and I was on his mind. You out there, when he was on the cross, you were on his mind. And if it was just you, the Bible says, he says that he would have died for just you. And we should be thankful and mindful of the cross and, and what our Savior went through for our sins to let us be in heaven. I'm not home and he Tree. Oh, I'm nothing on my own. I may.
I feel led to say this tonight. Um, you know, we have a lot of heartaches in our lives. I know that you all do too. Sister Margaret has had a lot of heartache. Very sorrowful things, you know, that she's had to deal with. And a lot of you that's listening, um, and Katie and Dennis, they've had a lot of sorrow. Um, since we were here last, uh, they lost their daughter. She was 29 years old. Uh, Dennis dropped her off for work one day. The last thing she said was, Daddy, I'll see you at 5 o'clock. She was a really good girl. She was a sweet girl. Didn't, didn't party, drink, do no drugs, nothing like that. She was a good girl. Didn't even drive a car. They drove her to work and picked her up every day. And that was the last thing she said was that she'd see him at 5 o'clock. But she died at work. And um, young people, if you're listening today, old people don't matter how old you are. You just don't ever know. That day she thought that she was going to be getting back in that car with Daddy, and it didn't happen. I thank God that she was saved. And that's what they're holding on to. But I just admire them so much um, that they lost their baby girl. Sister Margaret knows the pain and sorrow. But they're here still ministering for the Lord, trying to bless you wherever you're at tonight. And um, I, I know they probably, it just, sometimes you got to fake it till you make it. You put on a smile for other people, but you might be hurting inside. And that's okay. That's okay to do that. But as long as we know God and we know that she's okay, they know they're right with the Lord. They're going to see her again. Amen. And I just love them tonight, and I appreciate everything they do for this ministry. Go ahead, Brother Dennis. actually know it that well, but that's all right. You got to listen to the Lord, right? When he gives you a song to sing. Give me a C. Oh. 
My Savior was praying One day in the garden He knew he must Soon give up his life He knew he must Go on a Calvary I tell you my
David don't want to sing, but I'm going to make him sing. Amen? <laughs> We're thankful. We're thankful that God has brought him and his wife Pam into our life, and we love you all very much. <laughs> They've got the, the heart of a servant. They go everywhere we go, and, and Sister Margaret is such a blessing to us because every time we leave here, I'm telling you, this is the place that gets our bookings done. And we thank you for that, and we love you, sister. Yeah, I'll say, I want to say to everybody that's listening, uh, what you're listening to is music about a God that is living. He's a God that loves you. He will go with you anywhere and everywhere that you go. Amen. He's always there to protect you. And you're, he tells us in his word that he'll never leave us or forsake us. I'm thankful for that. But everything that you have, you have because he loved you enough to let you have it. So this is a, a song, Because He Loved Me. He gave, God gave everything that he had for you. He gave the best that he had in his only begotten son to die on that old rugged cross. He was wounded and bruised and whipped, everything just for you. You think about that, what all he went through, just so you could have the choice of life eternal in heaven. Do you think about that? Just listen to the words of this song. But always remember, no matter what, God loves you. On a hill called Calvary, Jesus my Lord, suffered. Top of that mountain. Amen. But you know, when I hit that valley, he's right there too. Amen. 
he's taking me through it. He'll carry me through it. And he's waiting for me on the other side because he's already been through it with somebody else. He knows exactly how to take you through whatever you're going through today. Amen. He knows how you just have to, to give it over. Ask him. Ask God to take care of your problems. He wants us to ask him. Ask him to, to help you through whatever it is. If you're one of his children, it's no different than you loving your child. God loves you just as much. And he'll take care of that. He'll take care of you if you'll just trust him and let him do so. When you ask him, leave it with him. Don't take it back home with you. Leave it with God. He'll handle it. He knows how to. I thank you for listening. Amen. That's right, Brother David. I have a scripture that I was going to read tonight, and it says, Since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. We have peace. We have faith, and we believe that everything's going to be fine. Amen. Just what you said. You didn't know that was a scripture the Lord gave me, so no. I know, know I'm on the right track. And listen, it's hard to play with these guys because there's three preachers up here. <laughs> they get on to me all the time. There's three preachers, and these needs two just... to be gotten on to. <laughs> Trust and, me. <laughs> and these two just aggravate me anyways. They preach, they preach too. This one actually does teach um, our Bible study. So he teaches. T all these guys teach me all the time. I need, I need y'all to pray for me. <laughs> Amen. But everything is fine when we love the Lord and we trust the Lord. It's in D. I'm sorry. Got it. Let's do, let's do. Well, I just heard. that you need to touch from the Lord. 
and all those that's reached out. Um, we love you all. We appreciate you all. We are praying for you. Sister Margaret's praying for you, everybody here. And we love you all. And, and this song is for you, sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you so much. Kendra Cole and New Harvest from London, Kentucky. And uh, we'll uh, get a chance to talk to her here a few minutes and, uh, and find out more about what all she's been doing since she's here. She's been one busy gal. Is your husband going to join us? Yeah, he's coming. Okay. Um, 
All right, uh, Kendra Cole and New Harvest from London, Kentucky, and the number to get in touch with them is 606-309-8079, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, uh, there's someone has called and wanted to know, do you have CDs that uh, they love the music? <coughs> Amen. Yes, we got um, four different CDs for $10 each. Okay. And if you call the number, um, um, make it out for thirteen dollars, and we'll ship it to you. Okay, all right. Okay, uh, let's let's talk to uh, uh, Kendra and her husband a few minutes here, and uh, these are really busy, busy people. Uh, this Kendra, tell them what all you have accomplished in your uh, in your field of business. Okay. Um, well, I was the LPM for 10 years, and the Lord um, put it up on my heart to go back to school. So for the last um, five years, so it was eight years altogether, I've been going to school, and um, I got my nurse practitioner license. I went uh, through all the different programs, RN, bachelor's, master's. Um, so now I'm taking care of people. Oh, and yes. I know that that is my calling even more so than singing. Um, I love talking to people, helping people. I love being a part of their healing process. And um, I've been working for two weeks. My husband's thankful that I finally got a job. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> he yeah. amen that. Yes, I heard that. <laughs> but my life is so blessed, and I just thank the Lord. And he sent great people in my life to help mm -hmm. me minister. And Tommy and Rick and David and Katie and Dennis, Pam, Karen, all of them, Shirley, Bonnie, they all just helped me. I'm sorry if I missed anybody, but... God's just blessed us super tremendously in our church, yeah. all of our church family. We love you and just, all right. just been busy. What about singing. you? Tell us about your church. Well, our church is called Omega Worship Center. It's at uh, 1238 North Main Street. It's across from Bimbo's Bread. Uh, we're a non-denominational church. We just believe in coming as you are, mm -hmm. and we'll let the, let the Lord sort it out. And mm -hmm. Right, yeah. He's that's usually the best way, I, I think. <laughs> that's, a safe, that's a safe way. And, you know, he's the only one that really knows us. Amen. That's right. You know, we see the outward appearance, and immediately you can think, well, they here or there, they need to go. Well, uh, he says he's going to judge us by what's in her heart. That's, that's right. right. And, and so I'm sure there's a lot of, of things that said that should not be said that's about right. the Lord's people. Amen. That's right. So he didn't call people, so what are we doing? That's right. We oh. try to take his job, don't we? Okay, what about, uh, what, what time are your services? Our services are at Saturday at uh, 12 o'clock. We have, we call it Sabbath school, but the same thing as Sunday school. So. Mm -hmm. uh, Saturday at 12 o'clock we have Sabbath school, and at 1 o'clock our service starts. Mm -hmm. And then we have a midweek service, one is a Bible study is on Tuesday night at seven o'clock. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Sorry, and then uh, we have another service Thursday night at seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. Brother mm -hmm. Kenneth Cathers is he's our senior pastor. And, mm -hmm. and that's my grandfather. That's her grandfather. Oh really? Yes. That's who Darren got saved under. Yes, oh, he is. Okay. He's been a, he's been a, been a big part of my life. Mm. And uh, oh, thank we're the just Lord ha for happy for him and yes. And that gives him a good chance to get out, and he's mm -hmm. he's actually he's a good preacher, and mm -hmm. there's been a lot of people following him on Facebook a lot and of stuff people like been that. Saved. So oh, that's just come good. and be with us. That's great, yeah. uh, and that's located where? Did you say? It's at 1238 North Main Street, and it's across from Bimbo's Bread in London, Kentucky. Okay. We're straight across the street from the bread factory. Okay, little so, country white church, got mm -hmm. a white fence right around it. Right up on the hill. So if you get if the services last a long time, they won't have far to go to get some bread. That's right. There you go. They so bring your own, bring bread your own. Physical <laughs> bread yeah, they bring your own bologna or uh, peanut butter. Yeah, and, <laughs> bring the bologna. <laughs> yes. Well, that well that sounds so good. I'm I'm so glad uh, that things are going so well, and uh, Kendra's been able to accomplish all that she has and we're glad she has a job too. i couldn't have done it without my family yes we and know that them and we, so many people just mm -hmm. helped you know sacrifice on yes, everybody's part it really but see was. It, it pays off it does. yes Amen. so all right israel said he needs prayer and the group is doing great uh 
uh, and Dottie, she needs prayer. She's our phone operator. <coughs> hey, and Dottie. Thelma from Madison County is celebrating her 94th birthday tomorrow. So Amen. happy birthday, Miss Thelma. Mm, yeah. uh, Jean from Elliott County, and we have uh, uh, Thelma from uh, Wolf County says that she's on her deathbed, oh, and that's from a son. Uh, Menifee County lady for her husband, and uh, Tony from Powell, Terry from Menifee, uh, from Whitley County. Uh, uh, so, well, there's several in there that needs prayer, Pulaski County and Johnson County. And uh, I think everyone was so interested in hearing you sing that they got lazy on us and didn't, <laughs> and didn't call, but we have this happen, you know. So, but I'm, I'm just so happy that you all are here and we've had a lot of people wanting to see you again. And uh, so uh, let's, let's do some praying here. Mm -hmm. We'll let the pastor uh, uh, anoint these and pray and whatever you all want to uh, talk about, uh, pray. Just Lord, Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight, Lord. You know the request on each and every one of these requests that's been made before you tonight, Father. And we just ask that you reach down and touch them in a mighty way, Lord. You know the situation and everything that's it's on these pieces of paper, Lord. Even the ones that's, yes. that's out there that was afraid to call in, Lord. We just pray that you... Reach down and yes, touch Lord. them in a mighty way, Lord. Just answer Jesus, their prayers Jesus. as we know you can, Father. We just ask you to continue to watch over this radio station and watch over this group and let us be able to continue to go on and do the things you need us to do, Lord. But most importantly, Lord, if there was someone out there that we've been able to touch today, we just pray that that conviction spirit grow on them and that they will continue to give their life yes. to you, Father. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you so much. So, do you have any special announcements that you want to make? Any uh, thing yeah, in particular that you're going to? That lady's name was Happy Birthday. I don't remember. I was Thelma. Trying to Thelma. Happy Birthday, Thelma. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Birthday. And um, yeah, we do want to. Um, so we all got pins on for mm -hmm. uh, breast cancer awareness yes. for the month of October. That was Sister Pam's idea for us to wear these uh, in our singing group for the month of October. <laughs> we do have a special friend that came in person tonight. Her name's Karen Moose, and she does have terminal cancer. She desires your prayers, and hers did start in the breast. Um, but God is good, and before we run out of time, I want to let y'all know where we're going to be singing at next. Yes. Um, October the 29th, we're going to be at Park Place Church, um, Pastor Todd Parker. Um, that's a Baptist church. That's 11 o'clock a.m. Um, that's in London, right past the park, uh, not much past the park, on 25. Um, November the 5th, we're going to be at Flat Creek in Raw Codes, Kentucky, and that's Pastor Jeffrey Bannum, um, and that's on Kentucky 1418. Um, in December, we're going to be at New Bethel. Um, Randy Johnson is their pastor now. They got a new pastor. That's going to be at 6 p.m., and I think I'm running out of time, but um, come and see us at, at one of those if you can make it. And we love you all. Amen. Love you all right. All. Call them at this number, and uh, you can find out more about it. Well, thanks again to Kendra Cole and New Harvest for being here tonight. And we uh, want to say good night, and God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Bayville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. May God bless you.
so 